welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am doing another hair review if you are not new to my channel then you will know that I have been testing a lot of different coloured hair dyes over the past few months maybe even actually it could be over the past few years I tend to do orange hair dyes because that's the colour of my hair at the moment so I'm testing another one today and the colour I am testing is this it is the Adore Sunrise Orange you have to excuse the tape on the top I actually hit it and broke it a little bit so it's kind of leaking, um, but that's my fault. So um, yeah, I'm testing this colour today, so if you want to see how it goes on my hair, then please keep on watching. So just a bit of a background for you. I want to straight up say I have bought this product with my own money, so it is not gifted. This will be an honest opinion. Also, I am 29 weeks pregnant. It is perfectly safe for you to dye your hair. You've just got to stay in a ventilated room and make sure you do a patch test beforehand. I have dyed my hair throughout my whole first pregnancy and I'm also doing it this time in my second pregnancy. So I know that I am perfectly fine. I've used these products before and, you know, I've never had an issue. So hence why we're doing the dyeing today. Also, I am getting quite out of breath really easy. So if I'm breathing a bit weird, then just go with it. Like, yeah, I am fully pregnant in my third trimester. I'm just trying to make myself look a bit better. So yeah, just bear with me guys. Um, but yeah, so as I mentioned, this is the colour that I'm using today. It's the Adore Sunrise Orange colour. Now, I haven't actually used this one before. I have used Adore's, I think it's Orange Blaze or Blazing Orange, something like that. If you want to see that, I can leave it linked down below. You can go check out my other video of testing that. But in today's video, I thought I'd test out a different shade. So tomorrow, I actually have a maternity photo shoot. So I have been saving my hair. I've let it fade down a little bit. I haven't dyed my hair now in about maybe about six, seven weeks, something like that. Um, so my hair is pretty faded and I just want to brighten it up and make it look fresh and really bright and vibrant for tomorrow. So I'm hoping this gives me the effect that I want. So just in case you're interested, it says it's got no alcohol, no peroxide, no ammonia. For a vibrant, shining colour that gives hair a beautiful, sensual feel and a colour that really lasts. So directions, shampoo and then towel dry. Use protective cream around your hairline, apply colour from scalp, comb through thoroughly, cover with a plastic cap, process with heat up to 15 minutes, and then rinse and shampoo completely. It's also vegan, cruelty free, and this is a four fluid ounce bottle. Now it is a semi-permanent hair colour, and yeah, this is the Adore Sunrise Orange. So that's a bit of information just off the bottle for you. Now the way I'm going to do it today might not necessarily be the right way, but if you follow along with me, then you'll see the effect and, you know, you'll get the idea of how I've managed it. So, yeah. So, I guess straight away I should show you the colour of my hair now. It is quite greasy. I have left it to go, you know, greasy and just be ready for a wash and dye today. So, you know, it's not looking at its best. But this, I'll turn around. This is what it's looking like at the moment. So, it's quite faded. It's like a coppery... It's quite dull at the moment actually um i also have a root fade this right here i'm just looking in the viewfinder so i'm sorry but this right here is my natural color so it's like a mid mid dark brown i'm not actually sure um and then obviously i've got the dyed copper color here um so we're just going to apply it to all over my head i don't mind if it's slightly tones my brown hair and turns it a little bit orange that is perfectly fine I do that usually I just slap it all on leave it on and just see how it ends up but yeah I'm just hoping for a little bit of a refresh so today the way I'm going to do it uh, which is the way I always do my hair like I say if you want to follow the packet that is fine but the way I do it is just this so I'm going to just dampen my hair slightly um you know I'm just going to put some water through my hair not so it's soppy but just slightly damp. And then I'm gonna pour this just into a bowl because I find that a little bit easier. And then I'm literally just gonna cover my whole head in the dye, just sectioning, dyeing, and then I will probably leave it on for around, hmm, I'd like to say 15 minutes, but sometimes it could be up to an hour, you never know. Um, it just depends what I get doing. I'm actually gonna be baking a cake in between putting this hair dye on, so more than likely it's gonna be 30 minutes to around 60 minutes that it's been left on my hair and then I will come up, get in the shower as usual, shampoo, 
condition my hair and then we'll see how it looks. I'm going to get on with it, probably do a little time lapse and then I will check back in later on. So let's get dying. Also, just a quick side note. So I'm going to dampen my hair in a sec like I mentioned. I'm going to put gloves on because I don't want to ruin my nails, although they are white and orange so it won't matter that much anyway but I am just going to put gloves on just in case it stains. If you don't want staining on your skin maybe apply some Vaseline around your hairline that will help protect it and also um, make sure you put your hair up as well in like a clip after you've dyed it and wear some old clothes. So I'm just wearing my old Nightmare Before Christmas jammers. I do not mind if I get hair dye on this so yeah, just take that as a little caution from me. So yeah, I'll be back soon. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. I don't wanna meet your mother. Never ever ask me how I've been. Remember why you have my number. to you here's your time to shine i'll show me what you can do the way my hands feel on your body we were dancing in the dark with every move i make you're falling the way my lips feel on your body we were moving in the dark with every breath we take you're falling i ain't got no time for you on now looking for something steady not ready for that i'm the best thing that has ever happened to you so i'm sorry for the late check-in i ended up doing the cake and you know just getting in the shower then having a nice bath putting a face mask on and before i know it it's like two hours has gone by so i left the dye on for around i think it was around half an hour and then i washed it off it weren't long at all um but yeah my hair is still quite wet at the moment so you can't see but i am going to leave it to air dry i think um and then i will check back in in the morning it hasn't really dyed my natural hair i'd say it's gave it the slightest like warmer tone to it but very very slightly but yeah this is my hair wet so tomorrow when i check in i will show you what it looks like once it's all styled um, I think I'm having it nice and curly for my maternity shoot so yeah I will check in then show you what it looks like and um, yeah but first impressions just off like the dyed colour alone I think it looks really nice it looks like quite a true orange and not very red toned so yeah we'll see how that looks when it's dry um, but yeah I will check back in in the morning and keep you updated so it's just a really quick check-in because um, I've done my hair and I'm just about to go out to my maternity shoot but I actually love the colour that my hair has turned out. I think it looks so pretty. I actually love it. Like I think it's the perfect mix of like coppery, orange, kind of reddy tones. Um, it is slightly more red now it's dry but I still love it. I think it just looks great. So yeah, I'm uh, super happy with it. So yeah, I'm just about to check off now. I'm going to have to head off because I'm going to a maternity shoot. But yeah, this has been my review. I hope you've liked it and I will check back in on another video. See you soon.